Hi, Lyme Aceda, Sweeney from LimeAceda.com. And it was Lyme Aceda. Today, the date is 1st September 2016. Time right now is 9.46 in the morning. Can you believe me and my doggies? My Shosho, no, Noni and Pony. Both, both my doggies. Okay. Uh, today, I just wanted to address a video, an issue. Um, this friend of mine is an online buddy of mine. He uh, kind of shared this with me. Uh, Mr. Macedo, I ravaged through the pics of my wife's ex on Facebook, been doing so for seven years now. They're very successful men. I want to jump to the rooftop. Okay, he sent me this and the response I gave him was, I think you should be more focused on yourself than someone else. I've had more than 400 women in my life. There's no shortage of women. My friend, what's wrong with you? Just for one fucking pussy, you're overacting like this. Now, I gave him that response thinking that, uh, you know, this was just a fling, a girlfriend. But then uh, he responded to me stating that that one pussy is the mother of my child, Mr. Macedo. It's clear we both have different views with regards to this matter. It's futile to go into a debate with you and ask for your advice. Okay. First and foremost, uh, well, I, di I did send him an apology. I did send him and I wrote, my apologies, my dear friend. I wasn't aware that she was the mother of your child. If I was, I wouldn't use such language. I'm very respectful to people's family members. So accept my apology on this matter. Sincerely, I'll write to you later about this. Right now, I'm having my dinner. I'll go to sleep. Once I wake up, I'll write to you or send you a video response. And this is exactly what I'm doing. The first video that is dedicated to you, my friend. Now, see, the, the, you know, uh, this is the advice I want to give you. When you're in love with someone, yes, we do give them everything. Uh, you know, our heart, our soul. Where's my fucking straw? Straw. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm having a Starbucks. Starbucks, I like an express. So when we love someone, we give them our heart, our soul, everything uh, of ourselves. And then what happens is once they leave us, we have this void. We have this blank. Hey, doggy, you, what do you want coffee for? Huh? What do you want coffee? Hmm. So, uh, espresso. So there's a fucking void. Ah, uh, espresso. Okay. So when you have this void, what happens is it kind of eats you up inside. So what can you do with regards to this? What can you do, especially when a woman that you love, whom you give your heart, your soul, has moved on, but your heart still lingers with them? It has happened to me once in my life where I really loved someone. And uh, after, after they left me, there was this void. So first and foremost, I'll give you a couple of strategies which you can use and I hope will help you. Number one, what you need to do is you need to focus. You need to focus on your betterment, your development, your growth, because... When you focus on doing something, it takes your mind away. You need to involve yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, every way. So doing exercise, reading, studying, learning, growing, that is the best strategy you can, you can undertake in order to move forward. That's number one. The second thing what you need to do is stop looking at them. Stop focusing on them. Use that energy, that negativity, that, that, that anger, that frustration. Use that to propel you, to drive you, to to make you go forward because you need drive. If you're comfortable, if you're comfortable on a chair, you might end up sleeping. But if it pokes you, it'll keep you awake always. So and uh, so that's the second thing, you know, use that negative energy into a positive uh, channel, into a positive reinforcement. And number three is always make sure that whatever you're doing is something positive, at least to yourself. Okay, so these are three things. And the other things which I would, uh, you know, repeat and recommend to anyone, stop making bad choices. Stop always making bad choices. Be, uh, you know, because if you keep making those bad choices again and again, you'll keep, you know, fucking up again and again. Um, and one extra bonus point that I'd give you is, I think you need to ensure that the partner that you choose is dependent on you, is not better than you, because if you choose someone better than you, they, you know, sometimes they can just kick your ass off. So choose someone who's a little bit lower than you, who's madly in love with you, who needs you more than you need them, because then they'll never leave you. And so, you know, these are the five things that I would suggest to you, man. And yes, surround yourself with great people, great minds and people who can change you and make you much better. So if I were to sum up, I hope I remember all the five. Number one is focus on your self-development because when you focus on that, it helps you get better. Second one is, you know, don't keep looking at them, move on. Because my ex-girlfriends, I, I just delete their profile so I don't have to bother to look at them. I don't be jealous 
uh, you know, but if I were to look at them every time, I feel, you know, affected. But I use that negative energy into positive reinforcements. Number three is uh, make sure that, uh, what did I tell you? Make sure that you make smart decisions. Did I tell you that? Yeah, smart, smart choices. Don't repeat that same shitty mistake again. Number four is uh, just make sure that, uh, and I forgot, fuck yeah. Uh, okay, last one, last one. You can just rewind and just look at, last one is surround yourself with great people because when you surround yourself with greatness, I think that is where you achieve something worthwhile. And and yeah, you know, the bonus point that I'll give you is, uh, please, man, listen, choose someone who is not better than you because if you choose someone better than you, they'll do it. they're going to dump your ass, okay? Choose someone who needs you, wants you, loves you, and loves you more than you love them. Because if you do this, I think that is where you'll achieve success and that is where you'll truly find yourself, okay? So once again, I apologize. I didn't know she was the mother of your child. Uh, and yeah, you know, you have a baby. Just just focus on being good, doing good, and let that child of yours look up to you as an inspiration, okay? Once again, I apologize to you, my friend. You, you're someone I respect, even though I don't speak much, uh, and I hope this helps you. And, you know, just to make up uh, for, you know, for the fact that I hurt your feelings, well, uh, I got a surprise for you. We'll tell you more about it when we get in touch. So um, I hope this video kind of answers the question. Life from LoyMasito.com, uh, apologizing to you. Uh, you know who you are. And uh, saying goodbye for now. Anything else? Love to hear from you. Goodbye for now.